Else you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. There you go. The place with the base. Hacksradio.com. Stream. that allows the FBI to fulfill their sexual fantasies self-inflicted. Much love. It's Wednesday. It's time for Hacker News. First up in the headlines. Anonymous has apparently hacked the United States Bureau of Justice Statistics and posted 1.7 gigabytes of data belonging to the agency on Pirate Bay. This is a Monday Mail Mayhem release. Online statements attributed to Anonymous said that they were responsible for the security breach and that the files they obtained include emails. Today we are releasing 1.7 gigabytes of data that used to belong to the United States Bureau of Justice. Until now, said Anonymous in a statement, the Department of Justice acknowledged their websites had indeed been breached, adding that their websites as well as Justice.gov had remained operational throughout the security breach. Department of Justice has been attacked multiple times since becoming a target for the hacking group after the shutdown of Mega Upload. Within the booty, you may find lots of shiny things, such as internal emails and the entire database dump. We lulzed as they took the website down after being owned, clearly showing they were scared of what we, what inevitably happened. The price we pay often is our own freedom, it continues. The price that governments pay is the exposure of their corruption and the truth behind being revealed. For the truth will set us free in the end. So once more, we call on you, hackers, activists, and freedom fighters. Join us in our struggle against these corporate hypocrites. Out fucking standing, as far as I'm concerned. Next up in the headlines of the Hacker News... Quebec Liberal Party and Education Ministry websites taken down by a massive cyber attack. Two provincial government websites as well as Quebec Liberal Party and Education Ministry websites went down early Saturday morning and remained inaccessible for most of the day. No one has claimed responsibility for the down sites, but Twitter was full of rumors on Saturday pointing to Anonymous, the loose group of cyber activists. The cyber troubles begin just hours after a new law, Bill 78, passed in the National Assembly. It requires any group of 50 or more people holding a demonstration in the province to inform the police eight hours in advance of their planned route and other pertinent details such as start and end times. One of the anonymous Twitter accounts tweeted on Friday, Quebec considers draconian anti-protest law. Expect us. Anonymous also threatened a website belonging to the province National Assembly, while some reported that the legislator's website had been taken offline. It was functioning as of 9.25 a.m. on Saturday, referring to the province as Quebecistan. The group wrote, Rule 78 must die. A spokesman for the Quebec Liberal Party said the party's site was hacked. There are, they are attacks that are pretty common, said Michael Rochette. We have been victims of cyber attacks for the past few weeks. Well, that's outstanding as well. Moving along, IBM in the headlines, IBM Research Domain Hacked and Defaced. Hacker Collective Group dubbed Kosova Hacker Security, or in other words, KHS, targeted IT giant multinational technology and consulting corporation IBM. In this attack, KHS successfully hacked into the official site of IBM Researcher. Hackers claim that the site had an SQL injection and remote code execution vulnerability using which they defaced the website. At the time of the writing, the hacked URL was not working, and mirror of the hack can be seen uh, following a link from thehackernews.com. You can find it there. Hacker says, we hack, that's why we don't like their computers. Good Lord. Uh, A couple other things to tell you about here. Zeus 2.x variant includes ransomware features. Cyber criminals are getting more sophisticated as reports are coming in that hacker coders have successfully merged a ransom trojan with a Zeus malware successor called Citadel. A notorious malware platform targeting financial information has added a new trick to its portfolio in a digital version of hijack and ransom. F-Secure researchers have researched recently spotted a new Zeus 2.x variant that includes a ransomware feature. 
basically a customized version of Zeus. The malware aims to provide better support for its offshoot of the Zeus code base, whilst at the same time allowing clients to vote on feature requests and code of their own modules for crim crimeware platform. Net Security explains the working of this Zeus 2.x variant that once this particular piece of malware is executed, it first opens Internet Explorer and points it towards a specific URL, lex.creativesandboxes.com forward slash locker forward slash lock PHP. Simultaneously, the users are blocked from doing uh, anything on their computer. Unlocking, therefore, can be performed quite easily with a registry editor and the instructions to do that also located at thehackernews.com and last but not least NASA again NASA SSL digital certificate hacked by Iranian hackers Iranian hackers cyber warriors team announced in an online post that it compromised an SSL certificate belonging to NASA and subsequently accessed information on thousands of NASA researchers the space agency representative revealed that, revealed that they are currently investigating the incident that is the news for the hackers that is the updates good lord we'll see you again on friday much loves to hacksradio.com check them out support them as well and we'll see you all on the flip side <laughs>